Well, hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. I know that we're in a different environment. This is my makeup chest. My husband actually built this for me. I'm going to put this one in. Um, there are seven, like eight, eight drawers that all come out. Hi. <laughs> and these are quite large. He made them very large for me, which is what I asked for. I did actually film this process, like going through it, making it. It is on my channel. If I can find it, I'll link it below. It kind of walks you through like how we built it, how it came about, that kind of thing. I wanted a very large makeup chest that was not super expensive. Everything I found was like thousands of dollars and I was like, I don't want that. And then all I could find was, you know, makeup chests that were like this big. And I was like, well, I don't want that either because I have a lot of makeup. So we came up with this I love it it is pine and then we stained it a walnut color anyway that's a little bit of background about my makeup chest so today I wanted to show you guys my foundation collection and organize the crap out of it I have different bins where did they go so I have these different bins that I want to put all of my different foundation in so I have a bin that says love I have a bin that says I don't like these and then I have a bin that's like and eh, need to try out more because all of my foundation and I will pull it out as you can see is just out like there's drugstore high-end there's foundations mixed in with ones that I really love and some that I don't really like but that I still hold on to so what I wanted to do is go through and organize all this stuff get rid of ones that I don't like or that I know I won't use and organize them into these bins. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up while you're watching. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and I have a ton of primers as well. So if you wanted to see me do this with primers, I can do that as well. But this is my foundation drawer right here. I am going to show you all of my foundations. There is a lot People don't need this many foundations. I get so much crap from my mom and my husband whenever I buy a new foundation because they're like, you have enough. And I'm like, I know, but YouTube. <laughs> so just a disclaimer, no one needs this many foundations. I probably have at least 50. No one needs those. I'm never gonna go through all these, but I love it. That's my favorite part of makeup, to be honest, is reviewing foundations. I That's just what makes me happy. And so that's what I continue to keep on buying. All right, I'm gonna zoom you a little bit closer and let's get to organizing all these. So I did just take all of my foundations out of this little drawer right here so that I can put my other ones here. As you can see, I have a bin that says I don't like these. I have a bin that says, eh, need to try more. And then I have a love it bin. So these are the bins that I'm going to be working with and filling up today. Like I said, I did just take all my foundations out of this drawer so that I can fit the bins in and you guys, I got so much judgment from Chris right now with setting this up and like realizing how many foundations I do have. The first one I have is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I just did a video on this. I love this foundation. So it's going in the love it bin. This is the Dior uh, Backstage Face and Body Foundation. After I've been using this more, I need to try it out. I need to try it out more because I feel like it has started to, I, I don't know, it started to break up on my skin really weird and I don't know if that was like the primer or the setting powder I used. So I'm definitely gonna keep on trying this one out. When I first tried it, I really loved it. So I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's my skin's changing, I don't know. This is the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. I love this foundation. Do you guys like have your foundation sitting down or up? I never know, just go down, okay. Next I have the CYO Long Lasting Life Proof Foundation. Love this foundation, it's amazing for all skin types. I love how it sits on my skin, I'm wearing it right now. This is the, oh gosh, things are falling down. This is the Extra Laneige BB Cushion Hydra Radiance. Still trying this out. It, this is an extra one. I gotta find the actual one in here somewhere. But this is a, need to try it out more. Next I have the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. I love this foundation. So good for natural days for any days really. It has like decent medium coverage and it feels really nice and light on your skin. It's one of my favorites from the drugstore. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. Also need to try out more. I don't really know if I like cushion foundations yet. 
I think sometimes they work for me and then sometimes they don't. I definitely need to try it using the pad that came in it. I don't know where it went. And then I can try it out for reals because that's what you guys said works the best. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin. I love this foundation. I want another really good one from the drugstore so I'm going to keep it in the love pile. Fit Me Matte and Poreless from Maybelline. Love this foundation. You know what? I'm going to try and sit them up. I just don't want all of them to like fall over. Uh oh, uh oh, they're too tall. That's that's a bad idea. And you know what? I'm gonna put like high end ones in one section and drugstore ones in the other section. Yes, yes, we're gonna get all sorts of organized here. All right, this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I really like this foundation, so it's going in the love pile. The Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation, love this as well. It's great from the drugstore. Gonna go in the Love It pile. I really love this foundation even though I have oily skin. It's really, really good on like my skin as well. It's not too dewy. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I actually saw this on sale at Target so I'm really concerned that it's going away and I, I don't want that. This is a really great foundation. The only thing is the shade range sucks and this is like the lightest shade they have. As you can see, it is very dark. Like I have to be very tan to wear this shade. So that's the only downside, but I still really like the formula. So going in the keep it pile. Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. This creases on me so bad, like so bad. I'm gonna put this in the don't like because I've already tried it a lot and I've decided that no matter what primer I use, no matter how what kind of setting powder I use, it just does not, it doesn't do it for me. So this is going there. Next we have the Maybelline Dream Wonder Foundation. This is probably so like expired. I think I just need to get rid of this. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a nice like drugstore foundation. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I liked it when I used it. I think I've just had it for a very long time. All right, here's the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. Love this foundation. It's so skin-like, but another downside to this foundation is the shade range. The lightest shade is this that I have, and it is not very light. So that's, this, this is a foundation for what I am very tan. The Catrice Liquid Coverage Foundation, love this. Another good one from the drugstore. It's very matte, very full coverage. Um, if you have oily skin, I think you'd really like this foundation. And it's the dropper, so it's not like super thick. It doesn't feel very heavy on your skin. So I really like this. Next is the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation. I'm gonna have to keep trying this out because every time I do wear this foundation, it is very heavy on my skin. Like I feel like it looks decent throughout the day, but I can feel it on my skin and it just wears really heavily on my skin. So I'm gonna have to put this in the keep trying foundation section. This is the Revlon Colorstay, a great, great, very matte, very full coverage foundation from the drugstore. This is the AOA Perfect BB Cream. I did a review on this. This is like a dollar. I'm gonna put this in the try more because I just haven't used it since that video and I don't remember what my thoughts are of it. Next is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. I'm gonna put this in the love it pile because I really do like this foundation. I think that it lasts a good amount of time on my skin and I feel like it is pretty transfer resistant. So I like this one. Next is the Revlon Colorstay Full Cover Foundation. I'm gonna try this out more because I this is one of the ones that kind of sunk to the bottom of my collection. Haven't used it since I did a video on it. Next is the Laneige, it's that same BB cushion that I talked about in the beginning. So I'm gonna put this in the need to try more. So this is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. I liked it when I first tried it, but I just need to try it out more to really get a better idea of like what products work well for this foundation. This is the number seven Beautifully Matte Foundation. It's a matte velvet foundation and it's another good one from the drugstore. I wouldn't say I love it, so I'm gonna put it in the need to try more. I also just don't use it enough. This Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation as well as, where's the other one? Okay, this is the matte foundation. I bought both, I did a review on both. This kind of blew up on YouTube. It was like an insane thing regarding the color range. And I think that while that what is still very important and shades do need to expand on their color range, I don't 
think that that means that I shouldn't like their foundation. I don't know. Like, I still do like these and I want to keep testing them out more. The LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation. I don't think I like this foundation. It's very heavy. It sits on my skin weird and I just... Eh. Eh. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. Love this foundation. Another great one from the drugstore. It like gives such beautiful coverage, yet it feels so lightweight on your skin. This is a clean matte BB cream. It's empty, so I'm putting it over there. This is another Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I have two of these. One is in the shade 710 and one is in the shade 705. I'm probably just going to keep the 705 because 710 is too dark for me. So yeah, that's going away. Next is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. I have the shade Porcelain Ivory. This is a really great foundation from the drugstore. It has that like whipped texture. I think that it just goes onto your skin really nicely and it gives a good amount of coverage and it's just a really unique formula. So I really like this foundation it there. Next is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation and I really love this foundation. This is a good one, especially if you have oily skin or you need something that's gonna be matte and stays all day, this is it from the drugstore. All right, so my camera shut off, but one of the other foundations that I put in the Love It pile was the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. It's really, really good for people that kind of very similar to the Revlon Color Stay. It's just like probably a bit more budge proof. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Love this foundation so much, you guys. It's so, so good. This works really well on my oily skin. I really like how it sits on my skin. It makes my skin look very fresh and like awake and just very soft. So I really like this foundation. All right, next is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I don't know how I feel about this. I think in my review video, I did not like it. So I'm gonna put it in the need to try more. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. It's just too dry for my skin. Just the formula is so hard to blend out. Formula is not necessarily bad, but I just prefer the way other foundations sit on my skin better. So I'm gonna put this in the don't like pile and then I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the don't like. I would probably try it one more time to figure out whether I want to keep it or not. This is the It Cosmetic CC Cream. It comes in like this little tiny thing. This is in the shade medium. I am never going to be a medium in this foundation. So this is gonna go bye bye. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD foundation. I'm gonna have to put this in the try more because this is so light, you guys. Look at how freaking light the shade is. Um, but I thought I could make it work. I don't know. Let me, I'm going to try it more. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I'm going to put it in the need to try more because sometimes when I wear this foundation, I really like it. And sometimes I do not. I don't think that it lasts on my skin very long. It tends to look heavy and like creasy throughout the day. So I'm going to keep on trying it. Okay. This is the Winky Luxe White Tea Tinted Veil Foundation. I did a review video on this. I do not like this. No. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. I'm going to put this and keep trying because sometimes it looks really nice and sometimes it gets way too oily on my skin. So I'm going to have to keep on trying that. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. I love this. I'm going to hold on to this one. This is the Sephora Airbrush Foundation. I don't even know if this has anything in it. Okay, it kind of does. I'm going to put this, I don't know, it feels almost empty. I'm going to put this in the need to try more. So I don't remember how I feel about it. Next is the It Cosmetic CC Cream in the shade Light. This is too dark for me. So what I'm going to do is put it in the need to try more. And if I can't make the shade work, I'm just going to not have it anymore. This is the Sony Kashuk Soft Focus Matte Foundation. This isn't even sold in Target anymore. And it's a bummer because it's such a good foundation. The smell is a thing. It, it is not a good smell. But I'm gonna put this in the Love It Pile because I really do like this foundation. I have way more drugstore foundations that I like over high end. What does that tell you about the drugstore? This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I have the shade Light Beige. I'm gonna put this in the Need to Try More. I don't think this is my right color. I'm not a beige person. Like, if anything, I am a neutral, like, yellow undertone. All right, I'm gonna keep trying it because I remember really liking this formula and like I felt like it lasted a long time on my skin, but I might just need a different shade. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I really like this foundation. 
it is very transfer proof so it stays on your skin all day long this dr jart bb disappoint i'm gonna have to try this out more i just don't remember my thoughts on it this is what happens when you have so many foundations that you just don't even remember you just don't know this is the allure merce flawless fusion ultra longwear foundation i don't like this foundation it does not play well with my skin it always looks really horrible and really makeupy at the end of the day so I'm going to have to put this in the don't like pile and I also noticed that it wipes off my face so fast so no next is the covergirl clean mattes actual foundation not the BB cream I think I actually like the BB cream way more so I'm gonna put this in the need to try more and then if I don't like it I'll get rid of it this is the Urban Decay all nighter foundation this has amazing coverage and it does go on much lighter than when it actually sits on your skin and it oxidizes a bit so I'm gonna put this in need to try more basically I'm just gonna use every one of these foundations till I have none left to figure out which ones I like and which ones I don't like this is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I love this foundation, really good. And the last foundation I have is from Benefit. This is the Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. I'm gonna have to put this in the need to try more if there's even any in here. I thought in my review video that I did that there was like basically none. So I don't even know if there's any in there. All right, guys, that is all of the foundations. I can't believe I got through all of them. I feel much better about how these are organized now. I can actually like look for which ones that I like and maybe don't like or need to try more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.